Where's Gorilla? Is he here? Uh, no, uh, I can't sit on this anymore. i got to tell you okay. anyway. I don't give a crap. Well, he'll walk in in the middle of this. All right, listen to this. So, Gorilla is our intern. Our six-year intern. Yeah, and since you're an intern, you don't really make any money. So, he went out and got a job with Grandma Sylvia's Funeral, an acting job. He's actually in the play Grandma Sylvia's Funeral. Mm -hmm. So, evidently, Gorilla's been running around asking for more money over Grandma Sylvia's, which I encourage because let them pay him. Why sure. should we pay him? We don't have any money. Right. You know and what I mean? He's promoting them. Because with our show, anybody, you know, we're the ones who get the money. Yeah. Not Gorilla. We can't let Gorilla <laughs> we, have any money. Right. <laughs> it, just would be, it would set bad precedent because then yeah. all the interns would want money. Everybody just stay here for six years until we pay it. <laughs> right. So anyway, uh, so Gorilla makes his living being in this Grandma Sylvia's funeral. So every night, I guess, they make an evaluation of all their people. It's something that they do at Broadway plays. I didn't know this. They actually... Write down what went on for the day, what actors did what, and, and all this stuff. Yeah, I understand there are show notes, and every once in a while you're getting together in meetings, and the director or somebody gives you a, some pointers. Yeah, if somebody's absent from the play, they, t they tell you why. Who's taking the notes? Like, for example, uh, probably like one of the producers. It's like, uh, here's a guy who wasn't, was absent because he's on vacation. They make a notation of that. Uh, they, they write down, for example, they had a rehearsal from 6.45 to 7 o'clock with the following people... Uh, they make a note that the backstage air conditioning needed to be fixed. It was very warm and hot on stage, so they had to fix that. And then here's here's a production note. Steve Grillo was asleep during the show on Thursday, 6-19. So he slept during the show, like on stage. While he was working. Can you imagine you go to a play and one of the actors uh, is sleeping uh, on stage? I think that's clever. So how, he's in the audience a lot, too, because it's one of those participation plays. Yeah. But he's supposed to be in the audience being his character. Right. Not sleeping. Right. Well, wait a minute. That day, his character was sleeping. His character fell asleep. It's an argument to be made. Uh, that's a tough one. All right. So, okay, you say, all right. Now, wait a second. Here, okay. June 18th, 1997. I'm reading from the production notes. Grandma Sylvia's funeral. Uh, during the matinee, Steve Gorilla fell asleep during the show. Oh, wait a minute. All right. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait, wait. I'm not done yet. On. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Once I could defend. All right. This is June 14th, okay? Mm-hmm. Uh, Steve Grillo was not in the building for his entrance. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. One more money. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> J June 6th. Oh, my God. Steve Grillo missed rehearsal again. Uh, will someone reach out to him and get him to rehearsal, please? Ooh. Jeez. Uh, here, here's May 22nd. Steve Grillo slept through the eulogy yesterday. Oh, That's really? the big eulogy oh, scene where the... <laughs> yes! <laughs> yeah. That's the climax, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, April 16th. Steve Gorillo asleep during most of the eulogy. Oh, man. <laughs> that seems to be his problem, Harry. <laughs> hey, that eulogy killed him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you this ready? is really sad. January 30th. And he has a nerve to ask them for more money? Yeah. Steve Gorillo left during Act 2. He was not back to do his bit during Gary's song. Whatever Gary's song is. It's pretty funny. God, I mean, and they're looking for him. And wait, he's wait. not even in the building. <laughs> listen, to this, listen to this one. This is the best one, okay? Oh, man. December 21st, 1996. Steve Grillo slept during Act 3 and missed his first lines. The audience woke him up. Oh, <laughs> man. This must be someplace. Now I want to see it. Now i got to go. i got to see one of these great Grillo episodes. <laughs> yeah. He'll probably stay awake when I go. <laughs> Let's see what else we got here. Uh, here's one, uh, September 20th, missing, Steve Gorilla. Wow. <laughs> um, and he says he wants to be an actor. Well, yeah. Yeah, he wants to be an actor. It's fun. You don't have to really do that much. Sleep. Yeah. Uh, Steve Gorilla late for entrance on uh, March 30th, uh, April 5th. And Steve Gorilla late for a call. They don't fire him after all this? No, they need him because he gets free plugs on our show. Good Lord. Yeah. This is sad. The actress playing Grandma Sylvia was more active oh. than, uh, than Steve. Where is he? I don't know, man. i got to get a hold of him. He's probably sleeping. sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> How come we can't find Steve Grillo? He's absent. Yeah. He's not in the building. All right, I'll tell you what. I'll take a commercial break. When he gets in here, then I'll bust his balls uh, when he we come back. He didn't know you were going to do this. No. I hope he's not listening. No, I just got a hold of this. So I'll uh, bust his balls when we get back. Yeah, because nobody at Grandma Sylvia's knows how to do it. Uh, Steve the Gorilla, Gorilla. You can't possibly. 
be proud of your track record at Grandma Sylvia's funeral. You're asking, I hear you're going around asking for more money, and I, you're sleeping I, through your performance. I haven't, I haven't asked for money. Oh, really? I, I came back. Oh, really? Yeah, which is almost a year. What's right? your, what, your record looks terrible. You sleep during the performances? Well, not for nothing, but... It, it, not for nothing. Not for nothing. <laughs> not for I have nothing. a problem starting these things out. Um, right. My character does absolutely nothing the first three acts. Right. I, I sit in the audience. And there's, there's but no the way... audience has to wake you up? No. I, I, that did happen once. Yeah. And I, I swear to God, I was, I was awake for the entire show. Right. And I was just... I literally was just trying to think of a different way to say my lines. Right. And I had my eyes closed and I was just thinking and I actually just dozed off for a second. Right. But that's true. That did happen. Wow. But, you know, it's not like I'm the... You've got about at least ten offenses of you sleeping during the performance. And then just not me, showing not, up. That, that's not true. That's not true at all. I've never, ever missed a call. I, late I've for been, call on uh, late, April 5th. I've been late that's five. Cold. I haven't been late for more than ten minutes, okay? I've always been gone out when I'm supposed to, and I've never, ever, Late ever, for call for entrance? Uh, never missed an entrance. Never, ever missed an entrance. So here you did miss an entrance. Never missed an entrance. And what about not in the building missing? That's didn't not true. Didn't do his lines in the I'm going to tell you act. something. Uh, well, the, the, the one that, you, that they were talking about is like when I when I wasn't there is because there's a point in the play where I have to go and I just like I get beat up by my father because I'm smoking a joint, mm -hmm. okay? And they're supposed to give me prop joints. They didn't give me a prop joint, so I'm running around looking for other cast members that smoke, trying to find tobacco so I can roll a fake joint, okay? The, the, the Steve Gorillo sleeping during Act Three and missed his first lines. The audience woke him up. That happened on the December 21st, 1996. January 30th, Steve Gorilla left during Act 2. He was not back to do his bit during Gary's song. That's not true. I, That's I, true? You're not allowed to go to the bathroom? But, well, dude, but you got to be there you're in a play. No, 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 I, but I understand that. But uh, there's, dude, it's a play. <laughs> so you're telling me this is a lie? There, there's no... There's you were not back for your... There's No, that is a lie. You're saying that's a lie? Yeah. You okay. didn't miss your line. Steve Gorilla was asleep during most of the eulogy. This is uh, April 16th. Uh, May 22nd, Steve Gorillo slept through the eulogy yesterday. June 6th, Steve Gorillo missed rehearsal again. Will someone reach out to him and get him to rehearsal, Now, I've, I've already had a discussion with the producer about that. But why did you miss rehearsal? You say you never uh, missed your entrance? No. June 14th, 1997, Steve Gorillo was not in the building for his entrance. <laughs> not true. I'll stand by. I, dude, I've never, ever missed my entrance. I have one thing to you make sure Is there a woman who lays in a coffin through the whole show as Grandma Sylvia? No. There is not. No. Mm -hmm. uh, June 18th, 1997, matinee. Steve Gorilla fell asleep during the show. You denying all these? Um, no. Steve Gorilla was asleep again during the show on Thursday, uh, June 19th. So not all and on of them. And on and on and on not and all of them are uh, actually me falling asleep, but I'm sitting there with some. First of all, my character is supposed to be stoned. Right, thank you. Okay. Such a compliment to you, fellow actors. Yeah. Imagine. He's falling asleep. He's falling asleep. What a relaxed performance. He's dying to be an actor. And I've done over 500 shows of the same thing over and stop. over. Well, maybe it's paying my rent. No, he's got to do that because we're not going to pay him. But you know, it's a disservice to the show. <laughs> I'm working three I have no idea what he's rolling the eyes. <laughs> it's, 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 I, I'm trying, you know what I'm saying? I can't drink coffee or tea anymore because I have, I have an ulcer. I can't, I can't even do that anymore. You have an ulcer? How old are you? 24. 24 and you have an ulcer? I, I'm pretty sure. I have, really? I found some blood. In, your, in what, school? Oh. Yeah. That doesn't mean you have an ulcer, dude. Dude, my stomach is on fire 24 hours a day. Really? Man. Yeah. Have you gone to a doctor? No. Maybe it's because you're 24 and you're working for free still. Uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't even have a job. And the one time I did get coffee yeah. to try to keep... Like, I, I, but Any time that you don't see me sleeping is because... I'm, I'm drinking some type of coffee. And then I sit there, <laughs> doubled over in pain. This is this guy's life. Show. Why don't you get some sleep? Where? When? I, I don't know. What are you partying? Every morning you come in, you tell me you've been out at the club all night partying. Well, no. <laughs> well, I have the body. I have the Jägermeister. And he doesn't sleep during these parties. Why do you drink? For them. If you're, if, you're, if you're having an ulcer, I've why do you drink? i significantly on my Why do you have, why do you um, smoke pot? That has nothing to do with an ulcer. Oh, no, huh? Uh, actually, that makes my stomach feel better. Oh, it does. And it yes. helps my glaucoma. And All right. But it makes me fall asleep. Uh, anytime you ever feel nauseous and you smoke pot, you feel better. Oh, I see. It's like okay. a cancer. Yeah, 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 okay. <laughs> and uh, listen, let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. All drugs are stimuli of one or another that put you out of touch with your body. If your body is that out of whack, why would you take any stimulants? Why would you take any type of drug, whether it be pot or drinking or anything? 
And why wouldn't you get some sleep instead of going out partying every night? That's what, I mean, if I was, you know, that's just common sense, dude. I mean, like, if I went out even one night during the week, I couldn't even function on this show. He can't give up the life. See, the reason he does oh. is because the partying is so good. Oh, oh I see. <laughs> oh, that's the Benny, huh? Well, going to the parties? Part of it. And what do you do at these parties? He you meets know what? Brad Pitt. Oh, that's right. I met Brad Bid. And what, what good did that get you? Meeting Brad cool Bid. Dude. What did? He, what, how did it? How did I it help no your idea. career? Maybe not. Not right now. But right. do you have his number or something? No, but you know what I'm saying. Like you just meet somebody and you know them, and next time you see them, you talk to them. It's it's helped me out a lot. I've met, met a lot. I've met like, a lot. Who helped you? Ed Burns. <laughs> Ed Burns is a jerk. Okay. Ed Burns is going nowhere. The director, you mean Ed Burns? Yeah. He's going nowhere. <laughs> His movies blow. Okay? Don't get caught up in that. He's not going to do anything for you. Never said he was. But I, I don't know, dude. I, I just know out. I, I, I don't Ed do... Ed Burns is the hype. I, I, don't, I hung I don't, out with Mickey Rourke. I hung I, out with Mickey Rourke. Mickey Rourke. <laughs> Mickey. I'm working with Mickey Rourke. <laughs> I... You need to be disciplined. Maybe I'll have Elena Beastie throw him no, in a diaper. He needs a diaper. Maybe you need to make him a diaper. What's that other guy you told me about that you spent a couple of days with? Who'd you hang out with? I don't know. Who are you talking about? I never The guy who was in the lawnmower man. Oh, oh yes. I, I, I never. But you know what? I networked with Dom Vey. <laughs> Jeff Vey. Yes. I never even heard of him. <laughs> Jeff Vey. We discussed technique. He's so cool. You're on a course to absolutely nowhere. <laughs> 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 what is it, Baba Booey? So, complete and utter schmoozer. There's oh, no yeah. doubt about it. But right. it's, 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 it's few did it, things did that ever, I do well. Did it ever help you? No, no. Cruising? But I'll tell you something, because like, all of a sudden, we go out to L.A. to do a show, or somebody comes here to do the show, and the next thing you know, Grillo's out in L.A., and him and John Stamos are like hanging out. He's going yeah. to barbecue at John Stamos' house. And well, well, but what did it get him? John Stamos isn't working. What are you going to do? I, I, he, worked in, he worked in private parts. Yeah. That was his last role. <laughs> What 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 I'm, you, I'm saying there's few things what that do you think well, is going to do and for networking you. is one of them. But, but, but you network to nowhere. I mean, what has it but ever benefited? I I've I've met plenty of people. Yeah, but what has it ever done for you? I've gotten appearances out of it. You're Cato Kalin. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, I mean, you network to what end? Doesn't parlay into any work. Yeah. But it does. It's like, okay, work. if you... I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, I, I've gotten a parent through you it. You've got work, but you, the work you have, you're asleep. <laughs> <laughs> but did, did you ever get any acting roles? Did Jeff Fahey put you in lawnmower? Um, um, no, but it did get Jeff me... Jeff it, it did get me... Um, it got me... It helped me get the... It helped uh, me get the... Um, no. You know who's a big fan of the show? That's Who? what he's always saying. Yeah. You know, he comes from his body. Brad Bid. Brad Bid. Oh, yeah? You got Brad Pitt to come on the show? No. Did you get a job from it? No. Did you stay up all night? Yeah, I got an Ulza. I stood next to nope. Ed Burns. If you were falling asleep during the show, <laughs> I stood next to him. Every time you do that, he rolls his eyes. He wants to slug you. I stood next to Ed Burns. This is not helping my elders. Don't say Ed Burns. I'm getting very close to him. You're going to ruin it. Dude. It's a very delicate negotiation. Ed Burns. Ed Burns. I met him for two he's seconds. My, he's my idol. You oh, know please. he went to Hunter. Is that what he said? He said Ed Burns is his idol? I why is say he's my idol. Why is Ed Burns? Your idol. I didn't say he's my idol. I said I could admire him for someone who <laughs> admire. I admire. I admire him. I, I, I can admire him for someone who just got up and did everything on his own. He went out and he wrote the script on his own. He got the equipment on his own and he produced the well, movie. Well, that's pretty much how you're going to get a movie. <laughs> he admires him for being a graduate of the worst school in no, the state. No, he didn't, he didn't right. graduate. A Honda. He didn't like, graduate. He's like oh, me. He didn't Ed graduate. Ed Burns. What's the name of the movie he did? The Brothers McMullen. And she's yeah. the one. And she's the one. <laughs> she's the one. Wow. How pretentious. She's the one. She's the one what? For Ed Burns? Yeah. She's the one. Who saw that movie? Three people? Not me. Yeah. <laughs> I, did, I did a but video I, on our story. I did. So, you're stay, so, the, so the big work that you get, which is Grandma Sylvia, which is a nice little thing, yeah. you're falling asleep during because you're out networking with guys who are doing nothing for you. So why don't you skip the networking... And just show up at the uh, Grandma Sylvia, and do do a great job there. I do do. And be alert. I do do. I do do. I do do a good job. I do do. I don't know, man. It just seems to me you should organize your life, but I guess you you dig the party and stuff. And don't tell me you have an ulcer. It's so cool when Brad Pitt knows who you are. I got an ulcer. When am I supposed to sleep? <laughs> Well, I mean, you skip going out to parties and you'll sleep all you want. I'm so hungover. I, I swear, I think I'm so hungover. I think that he thinks. I think that I'm partially responsible for that ulcer. I think he gets the ulcer from 
the mornings here. Uh, I'm not, I, I never said that. Like, I say that. Uh, but, but, no, no, no. But, but look, every everybody has stress in their life, and it all, you know, comes from all different places. How, I'm not blaming. I anything think the stress about of losing it. your hair is probably giving. That me has also. a lot to do with it. Right. Yeah. There's yeah. nothing more intense than in the morning. Sometimes I'm going out the door to take a leak or something, and Grillo carrying your water or your food. Hmm. You would uh, think that he was working the Brinks truck. Right. I mean, he's well, he 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 like the Holy Grail. He doesn't yeah, say hello. He, he just, it's, well, no. the guy's focused. I'll give him that. He is so focused. <laughs> I'm microwaving step back. Out of you you I gave me one important I'm, job to do, and I want to make sure I realize done. I'm not that intelligent, so I better get this right. I got the water. <laughs> There's a if way. It, if this water gets golden, there's a bigger <laughs> hole in my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> so you, so did you go to a doctor to find out if you have an ulcer? No. No. Oh, oh wait, he's self-diagnosed? Yeah. yeah. Well, he's got some I, blood in his stool and he thinks he has an ulcer. If not it just looks once. red, it's not ulcer blood. Wait, you, found, you found blood in your stool and you just ignored what? it? You haven't been to a doctor? You probably have a um, uh, hemorrhoid. Not a no, good thing. Or not. colitis or something. Uh, right, is Robin? The, is it red? Um... It just, uh, you want my diagnosis? I can't talk about it's not, this. It's not an ulcer. Yeah, blood. Okay, then, well, then you know what he's got? Ulcer. He's tearing something when he goes too hard. He's got diverticulitis. It's still a tear when you nurse, go too hard. I don't die. Nurse, <laughs> don't challenge my diagnosis. All right, what doctor. Is, diverticulitis, <laughs> nurse. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> what? That's when the um, wall of your intestine catches a lot of food. Yep. You're catching food. In your wall catching and you're food. And he's causing blood. <laughs> don't you think you feel better to find out that you don't have an ulcer? He's going to get I, ulcer something's wrong. I, I just been oh. taking like a lot of Zantax and Pepsi AC and stuff. <laughs> Zantax. 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 It's, a new, Zantax. it's a new stomach medicine. But I've had it's better I've had, than dumb. I've had I've had stomach problems since I was in seventh grade. Is I, that right? My doctor prescribed me um tagaments when I was my doctor. Oh. When I was twelve years old. What are tagaments? Isn't that like Rolaids? No, it's it's no, it was, it's uh, now it's over the counter. But um, it's pres it was prescription like ten years ago. He's a very nervous well. kid. I'll tell yeah. you that. Yeah. He's, he's very wound. Oh, yeah, I'll say. I'm red dyke. I can't take it. <laughs> I'm red dyke. <laughs> I'm red dyke. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, he's so well dyke that he falls asleep during work. That's pretty relaxed if you ask me. Really? Imagine having a job and you you know you're in a play and the audience has to wake you up to get on stage. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. That's pretty. That happened <laughs> once and it's happened to other people in the play too. Come on, too. they talked three right. or four times about you being asleep. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, dude. Well, three or four. How about seven or eight? <laughs> And, anyway. and as far as being late, like, have you ever been to a play? If somebody misses no, a that, that, I've never. I've, that I've never done. No, I don't stand by that. Here in the that is a lie. That is not true. You're I've calling never, this person a liar? Whoever it is, a yes. All absolutely. Right. Okay. I've never, ever That's... walked in that play and said that mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I missed my well, life. Well, how could they make something like that up, that you uh, were late for your cue? Dude, he was looking for a cigarette mm -hmm. because he needed Bivisy. to pretend to roll a joint. Oh, that's right. they got to give me my big cigarette. I've, I've, I had this stupid thing on the list for uh, supplies for two weeks, and no one did anything about All it. All right. I've had... My, I, I need shoes for the play, okay? I've ruined one pair of my own shoes that I won't buy another pair for that play. So go out barefoot. Dude, I've been wearing sandals. I've been wearing sneakers. They don't do anything. All right. I need a pair of eight and a half black shoes for this play, and they won't buy them. Don't air your dirty laundry here. It's funny because John says in the play he's a coke dealer, and Grillo may be the only coke dealer ever. I'm not a coke sleep. dealer. <laughs> yeah. I'm not a coke dealer. I'm you a pothead. Oh, you're a pothead. All right. Well, then it's a 50 different. character. There you go. All right. And he, it would be very like much like my character to fall asleep during the play. That's what I thought he was doing. He's like, hey, I can sleep I'm now, so I can still party. Yeah, I'm in Gavrigdale. I'm like a Volt Brando. <laughs> yeah.